Being ambitious has a very negative connotation as a Filipino, and you Filipinos know this, because people will call you ambitioso. Things that I say do eventually come true because on the back end, I'm working hard at it. If you guys ever wonder what I want to do as far as plans going forward in the next five years, 10 years, If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. What we basically do on this channel is talk about business. I do reviews from time to time and I do vlogs. I'm a small time entrepreneur. I basically want to try to retire early. And if I can bring and inspire more people along the way and what I do with the little things that I do, I would love to. That would, that would be a very, uh, it helps my, uh, my spirit, if I can say that. Uh, it makes me feel good that I can, you know, bring somebody up. I grew up very poor. Just so you know, I do come from a uh, influential family. Some people might say affluent. However, just because you carry a last name or lineage doesn't mean you carry the money. So <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at that. So today is a very basic video. This is like, a, this is this is more for me and I hope it helps you as well. I believe that when you speak it into existence, it can come true. Certain things that I say on the channel, if even if you look back through all my videos, certain things that I say do eventually come true because on the back end, I'm working hard at it. And this is more for me telling myself years later to look back to this video that uh, this is what I want and I don't really talk about what I want in my life everybody knows I'm pretty ambitious for those of you who really know me but everybody knows uh, a snippet of things that I want things that I want to acquire so I'm just gonna and hopefully especially for you Filipinos don't be don't be afraid to be ambitious don't be afraid to let people know what you want in life because sometimes being ambitious has a very negative connotation as a Filipino. And you Filipinos know this because people will call you ambicioso, which is like, you're too ambitious. Like what the heck, what the F are you doing? You know? So I, I don't subscribe to that. I never did. And my father never did. My parents never did. So I, I, I'm very blessed to have been raised in that setting. Uh, and maybe, and those of you who are not, especially you Filipinos, uh, I would love for you to use me as a beacon of, or an example of how things can be for yourself. Pretty much re real estate, pure, I just wanna own the dirt, right? What I'm planning to do in the next few years is pretty much rent out the condo in Richwood, which I'll show you pictures right now. They're pretty much done in phase one. For that subscriber who commented, if they're phase one or phase two, what, what, what phase they are at right now. This is um, this is more like uh, proof that everything is going good. I have two more properties that I have that I wanna also develop into storefront mixed use. So that I wanna try to do that in the next two years. My bigger property in Bakung, the one next to the airport, I hope to God they don't take this property away. And hopefully me saying that will <laughs> do some magic up there. That's going to be a commercial slash residential use in the future where in the front, I'm going to have storefronts and in the back is going to be all residential. Uh, and I will want to cater towards working class people. Even for you foreigners, I don't want to bang you over the head with crazy rental rates. Something that is feasible to your budget as a retired person at the same time. I kind of want to put amenities in that development, the one in Kalangang Bakong, that will justify what I want to charge. At the same time, build a community where I have long-term uh, residents. So those are my plans for real estate, right? Next, next couple of years, maybe five years going down the road, I'm still looking right now for the perfect property that is like kind of off the highway i'm talking about agriculture kind of off the highway but still manageable to not too far from the main road i want to i want to purchase like a good five to ten hectares just to raise my cattle my my pigs and my goats and maybe do some egg production down the road but something in the agribusiness field that's definitely that 
on the storefronts, storefront businesses that I do have now, I will not probably open up another restaurant or Calendaria or convenience store for a while. I just feel that it is uh, it, it is rolling money, but it is stressful if you're the one running it. We have managers to run it for us, so we don't really feel the stress, but I wanna move into more just getting residual income with minimal input on my end. Uh, input as in management, uh, me just overseeing. I just wanna be in a position to oversee my managers, ask them their feedback, look at the progress, and pull off and enjoy myself. That's pretty much the part of uh, the point of life, the part, the point of my life that where I want to be in the next five to ten years. As far as my transportation businesses, I want to have a fleet of maybe ten pedicabs. I have one at the current moment. I'm always looking for people to sell their franchises because you have to realize me getting a multi cab business or easy ride business versus the pedicab business. Pedicab for me wins all the way. It's a freaking motorcycle, right? It's a freaking motorcycle. Maintenance on a motorcycle is super cheap compared to maintenance to a vehicle. That that's that for me. At ten, even if they stick at, um, even if they stick at, uh, one hundred and fifty for the daily rate in Bakong, and I know it's gonna go up. One hundred and fifty, ten pedicabs, one hundred and fifty a piece, one thousand five hundred a day. In ten days, it's fifteen thousand. In thirty days, that's forty-five thousand pesos. That's close to a thousand dollars. And that's rolling capital and right and obviously there's going to be some debt to the business unless you buy them straight out but think of the possibilities man that's a lot and there's all i know a few guys who own like more than 10 in Dumaguete. they're living pretty good just based on that business because that will generate more income for other things once all the debt is paid for the motorcycles and stuff like as i said before compared to what you're taking in in bulk it's really nothing uh, that's pretty much it as my plan. I, I covered real estate. I covered my storefronts. I covered my transportation and my farming. So those are the four key businesses that I will probably keep constantly generating. in. and I do have some stocks, uh, you know, invest in and stuff like that. But that's more like put it in, set it and forget it. Don't touch it because I'm more for the long, you know, I'm like a minimal, I'm like a medium, uh, medium, not too high risk investor where I just keep money there every month there's an allotment that goes there and it's long term i can tell you that I, I am invested in things that i use that i know i hope will grow and raw commodities because uh at the end of the day this camera needs the plastic this camera needs the glass this camera needs the metal the 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 copper the this the that everything around here this room the, this light everything has to go down to a raw commodity so that's why I invest in raw commodities. Other than that, that's pretty much my dreams up in the air now. My ambitions up in the air. It just has to come to fruition. I write down every single year. Uh, I left some of my notebooks back home. And this is something that uh, maybe some, some of you Filipinos should do. Or even Americans, whatever. I write down all my goals. for, And it always changes. 5 years, 10 years, 20 years, ultimate goals and stuff like that just to uh, i think it was brian tracy i'm sure he heard it from somewhere else but brian tracy put it to me where it's like when you physically write it out something goes in your brain where it does something to you where your body subconsciously will go your body and mind subconsciously will go after it i've been like this all my life and i have messed up many times in my life but i've been blessed to be blessed when it comes to certain things in my life so I'm just happy, you know, uh, I, I'm happy, I'm ambitious, I'm driving, but um, yeah, that's pretty much why I made this video. Uh, note to self, uh, Gilsar, in 10 years, when, or maybe 10 years when you have more gray hair, shout out to you, because uh, hopefully you, you would have had done things that you have said in this video. Comment down below what your ambitions are. Uh, I want to hear what you guys imagine yourself to be in the next 5, 10, 20 years. Comment even better, comment down below if you set the, for you older gentlemen, if you set these goals at my age and at in your 60s and 70s, you are living the life that you set for yourself 
in the past. I would love to hear that story because that's like gasoline to this vehicle that I want to drive to my goals. So uh, take care. God bless. I'll be surprised if this video gets a lot of views because I don't know. But uh, peace. Bye.